I get my inspiration for my surroundings, and here, living in New York City, living in one of the most architecturally diverse cities in the United States, it's just inspirational. We've been interested in architecture since about uh, 2005. As you can see around our apartment, it looks very chaotic, but this is where we come up with the ideas. I'm responsible for buildings, and Kathleen does all of the small detailed objects, which really brings the scenes alive. We've been here for 17 years. We know exactly where things should be. But it took us 15 years to figure out how to do all this. But like here, we have a whole bin dedicated to googly eyes, to findings, plastic domes, dials and vents. I've always been fascinated by new buildings being built and old buildings falling down. This is a piece that we've been working on uh, for quite a while. It's a combination of older style buildings with newer, newer style uh, skyscrapers, and I take photos of them. And in about a year, they'll be put on display in a gallery. This is the bathroom slash storage uh, for all of the acrylic paint that we have. This is the only bit of uh, flat blank wall that we have. Um, so Lori put all of the shelves up. It actually works pretty good. Hey, kitty. This is considered the spray room. It has all of our power tools, spray painting area, and props from older images we've done a long time ago. Some people can handle this type of chaos. I've seen people come into our apartment and their face just lights up by how crazy it is. And I've also seen people immediately like cave in on themselves, like, oh my god, how can you live like this? We are definitely surrounded by our art. Artwork is everywhere. This is our world. I don't ever imagine having a clean, nice apartment.